What is up guys? Welcome back to another video. Today should be pretty good. Uh, Jason, my friend, is going to come over. You guys still haven't met him. He has an STI. And yeah, he's going to come over. We're going to do a training flush on his car. Uh, he's had his STI pretty much around the same time I got mine. Uh, we were both seniors, I believe. I think so. But yeah, we're going to do the training flush. He asked me for help or whatever. And he's had it. the training fluid sitting there for like two or three months. So I'm going to help him do that real quick. Show you guys the procedure, how it is to change the training fluid and stuff like that and we're gonna see how much it is like to get a quote on a straight pipe for my car I am gonna get it from the down pipe all the way back that way you know if I do want to switch back to my old exhaust which is the HKS carbon TI I can so you know if I do get tired of the straight pipe I can always switch back or whatever so I'll have that one here just in case but yeah I'm gonna go get a quote and see how much it is and Ask them if it's cool if I can actually record the procedure of me getting the car straight pipe because I actually want to show you guys everything I do to the car. I don't want to like blank spots or whatever. So hopefully they say yes. When you guys are seeing this video, next week's video should be me getting the straight pipe if everything goes well. Actually, right now I'm gonna go start the white diesel truck we have. It's been sitting by the house for a couple like two months now. Ever since it started snowing, we just parked it. And yesterday when I tried to turn it on, it did not start. So right now I'm gonna go check if it does start. I had it charging all day yesterday, so we'll see right now. This is the truck I was talking about. For all you guys that have me on Snapchat, you guys have probably seen it on there a couple times. But yeah, it's been charging since yesterday, so hopefully it does start. This truck is actually gonna be up for sale here in a couple weeks. Um, my dad has a red one, it's a four door, but he doesn't want this one, it's a two door. So, yeah. If you guys don't know anyone interested in a 05 Ford F350, just let me know. Low miles for a diesel. So yeah. Let's see if it starts. Now I'm gonna take out the CB from the garage. That way I can clean up the floor a little bit. There's a lot of like dirt on the floor from like snow and stuff like that. So I'm gonna pull out the CB and start cleaning it up a little bit. And now I'm start cleaning. I knew it was too good to be true. I don't remember if I ever said it in the videos, but I, I would always tell Angel I'll probably break my front lip trying to get this thing stuck. And I never thought it was broken until right now. I kind of hit it, and it's looser than freaking most of y'all. So I need to take that off or res like rescrew it back in. But I need to fix that because. That means it's super fragile to breaking again or to just fall off. So I'm going to do that real quick.
Look like who showed up, little Alex. It was such the vlog, bro. What's your Fortnite Epic Games account? Angel Radium 420. Ooh! And he's way better than Angel. Angel sucks at Fortnite. Huh, Angel? <laughs> yeah, right. But Angel just got, came by. Uh, what are you doing, Angel? Oh, his fog light is fucked up on the driver's side and disconnected, so he's trying to fix it. He's he's the electrician today. I am not. Let's see if he can do it. But Jason's on his way, I think, almost. And then we're gonna start on his car too. So stay tuned. All right, story time. For all of you guys lifting your cars up, don't put the jack stands in the middle of the car because then you'll be like Angel and be under the car, and the car is literally teeter totting forward as he's under right there. He's like, Steve, Steve, what do I do? And then finally it just starts teeter totting back. I'm like, oh damn. I was like, freaking idiot. Che pendejo dijo, so I'm mad. Well, yeah, but why? Why did that happen? He saw me when I was putting everything set up. Nah, nah. Oh, yeah, you're good. Nah, oh, right, see? Right. Yeah, oh, right. So yeah, right. I thought you know what you're doing, Angel. Pinche Mazda speed owners. I was just trying to scare you. Shut up. You should have seen his face. Steve! Oh, Steve. <laughs> What'd you do now? Nothing. Okay. Oh, <laughs> no mames, way. Hey, he's trying to play it off. Bro, I don't know what the fuck is going on. You probably left it where, like. Yeah, it just popped out. No, you probably left it where, like, it didn't. Put it, put it up. I did. You're chipping their whole way. You keep doing shit. And I caught that on camera too. Your shit popped out. Your sh fuck into your ass. <laughs> Man, but yeah guys, for sure stay safe. When you guys are lifting cars and you're under them, that literally can kill you in a matter of seconds. So be safe out there. Don't bust an angel. Don't buy a Mazda Speed 3. Cause then you don't know how to lift the car. <laughs> Alex is over here trying to stay warm. A little Alex. His belt's making noise too. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it look, it look. This is STI right here. Catch him on the streets, honk him, honk at him three times. <laughs> What's up, bro? Hey, we need to go to Ace. Come with us, real quick. Yeah. All right, so we're gonna lift the car up right now. We're gonna start the the flush on the tranny. He went with Motul too. And then yeah, we're gonna start this real quick. And then this fool is still working on his fog lights. Pretty much just disconnected right here, but we'll do that right now. We went to Ace to get some clips and some fasteners for that, so we'll start it right now. For the transmission, you guys need a Torx screw. This is a T70. Uh, we only had a T60, so we had to go buy one, but that's for the transmission uh, drain plug. And then you have your differential one right here. So you're gonna take off these two right here real quick and then retorque them back down and then just refill the transmission up. Steve doing Subi stuff in a Subi. Where you fill up the transmission fluid is right here on the side of the transmission on the STI. This is a 714. And on mine, I filled it up from the top. You fill it up on an 05 STI, but the newer ones have it on the side right here. And you pretty much just fill it up until it just starts oozing out. So right now, we're gonna, that's what we're gonna do right now. Just fill it up right here. And then that's pretty much it. We already torqued them down to 50 and then to 40 or Either or, I forgot what it was, but something like that. Hello! Yeah, that, we just need that one you're on right now and one more. I think you should take that one you're on and like half of this one. If you guys own a Subi, make sure to use Moto. It's a really good company for oil. 
I've been using this for the past three oil changes and I have had nothing but great reviews for this. And then I actually changed my differential, my back one and my transmission with this too. So if you guys, huh, why that one? Why that one? Because bro, Subi gang. No, I, I say, it's actually a really good grade. I used to put Rotella in my Subaru and then I started putting this dude. And like in Rotella, it burn it way faster. And with this, it doesn't burn it at all. So I like it. So we fixed this issue. I just connected them all back up or whatever. And yeah, make sure not to buy these. These freaking suck ass. Just go with these yellow ones. But since we don't have any, I just stuck with the black one on the blue. Uh, tap splice, but yeah. That should be that shouldn't be going anywhere, but yeah, just make sure not to get these tap splices because they do come off easily. Go with some traditional, you know, some crimpers over here. But now it does work. I'll show you guys. Hit me up. I'm an electrician. Boom. But yeah, guys, I mean. We finished up the Mazda Speed 3. We're gonna put the bumper back on and then we're pretty much done with that car. Now we just need to drop the STI down, monitor it for a little bit, but that's about it. Oh, and by the way, the Mazda Speed 3 is up for sale, so if anyone's interested, 5K. Oh, Alex. 5K? 5K. Cash. Alright guys, that's going to be the end of the video. Hope you guys liked it. Uh, we're just finishing up Angel's car right now. And then I'm going to put the Subi back in once I finish cleaning the garage a little bit more. But yeah, like I said, like, comment, subscribe, and stay tuned for next week's videos. Peace.